Hi everyone, welcome to our channel Stock My Closet. Today I'm sharing cutting and stitching of salwar and I'm using this cotton fabric. This is 2.25 meter of fabric. I suggest wash and dry cotton fabric so that you know shrinking is done before you sew a garment. So let's get started. This is the required measurement. Firstly, I'll cut the front panel and for that I have folded the fabric twice in width. I have marked the straight line to trim the uneven fabric on the top. And now I'll mark the length which would be full length minus belt length. In my measurement full length is 37 inch and belt length is 6 inch so 37 minus 6 is 31. I'll mark a point at 31 inch and I'll extend it and cut it. Now open this and from the unfold side mark a point at 8.5 inch. This is for belt. Belt length is 6 inch. Add 2.5 inch for seam allowance. I'll mark the same point at the other end and I'll join these points. Now I'll cut it. This is front panel. I'll just keep it aside for now. Now I'll mark the belt length which is 25 inch in my measurement and I'm adding 0.5 inch for seam allowance. For belt length you can add 4 inch to 10 inch or more to your hip measurement depending upon size or one's choice. This is the belt for salwar and now I'll cut the back panels. For back panel I have folded the fabric by half in width. Place the front panel. Mark the poncha measurement which is 7.5 inch in my measurement and add 1.5 inch for seam allowance. Now on this side I'll mark the crotch length which is 9 inch in my measurement. Crotch length could range between 9 inch to 11 inch depending upon the size. Now I'll join crotch point to the poncha point and I'll cut it. Now place back panel on the remaining fabric like this. And also, if you need bias strip to make design on your kurti, just leave 1.5 inch to 2 inch of fabric here and you will get the long bias strip. So now I'll cut it. I got this bias strip to make design on the kurti neckline. And with this cutting of my salwar is completed. Now I'll stitch it. For stitching, firstly I'll finish the belt. Fold around 1.5 inch of fabric and make a stitch. I've overlocked it. Make a stitch on the other side as well. Now I'll make a stitch over here. I have folded around 0.25 inch of seam allowance. Now fold it and make a stitch on the edge.
Now I'll stitch the crotch. Now I'll attach the front and the back panel. So I have attached front and back panels and overlocked it and now I'll attach the belt. Mark notches on the belt sides and on the center of the front panel and make a dart of around 3 to 4 inch like this to know the center crease of the salwar. I have made pleats on the back. Now place the belt right sides facing each other and I'll make a stitch on the both sides till the notch we made on the belt. So I have stitched the back side. Now for front, I'll add pleats. Now it's your choice, you like small pleats or big pleats. It's just direction of pleats should be towards the center from both sides. So I have made pleats on both sides and pinned it up. Join center of belt with crotch and make a stitch. Now I'll make the stitch on the edge of the belt. Just keep the seam allowance direction towards belt. For poncha, I have taken this buckram. This is around 1.2 inch wide and 10 inch in length. To finish it, I have taken piece of same fabric. Place the buckram on the wrong side of the fabric and make a basting stitch. Cut the buckram in two equal parts. Place the buckram on the silvar and make a stitch along with buckram. I have completed both ponchas and now I'll make the center stitch. Secure the poncha and make a stitch till the other end. So my salwar is completed and this is how it looks. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this video. If you do, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you soon. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.